officers on the ground in Washington. I'm curious, Ellison, how much, uh, yeah. how much the, this crowd knows about some of the events of the last uh, hour or so? Lester, I just want to show you what's happening right now. It looks like to us the protesters have been able to take the bicycle barricades down here and they're making their way up the steps of the U.S. Capitol right now. When this happened a minute ago, it's it's not entirely clear how or why they've been able to get past this area, but all morning there have been bicycle racks keeping protesters back. At some point, it seems those became open somehow. Either the protesters here pushed through it or someone moved them back. They are now making their way up the steps of the U.S. Capitol. You can see Capitol Police there holding the crowds back. People started cheering, saying, let's go, let's go. I spoke to one person earlier asking if they had seen the letter that the vice president sent over. When I showed it to them, they were shocked. They said if that was from Pence, they didn't quite believe me when I read it to them, that they were disappointed. But right now, it seems like we have seen the protesters who have been here all morning actually breach the bicycle barricades. You can see what they look like. It's these right here and make their way up to the steps of the U.S. Capitol here. Uh, and for now, it seems like police are holding them back to some degree. But this is the furthest we have ever seen any protesters make their way up towards anything. And when they started moving, there were loud cheers from the crowd here. Uh, and, and for now, it seems like police have them stopped on the steps there, but they have broken through the bicycle barricades, the bicycle racks that were here and have made their way up the steps of the United States Capitol. Lester? Yeah, I can't recall, and it, it maybe it's happened, but I certainly can't recall protests that have reached that far up to the Capitol, to the steps. But, but again, as you point out, it appears Capitol Police have it under control. We'll continue to check back with you.